At Fox, they did nothing with me. Um, they, I, they sent me to drama class, or you know, and that sort of thing, tap dancing, and all those things. I could go into a lot of stories about that, but it's not germane. And one day, my agent, Jack Pomeroy, said, I have a, we got an appointment over at uh, Goldwyn with Howard Hawks. I don't know. Who's Howard Hawks? I don't know. I, I was an ignoramus as far as people in this business are concerned. Hawks had been testing, I don't know, I, I say 300, some said 3,000, that's ridiculous, at least 300 girls he had seen for this little part of Fenn and Red River and had not found Finn. So I went over with Mr. Pomeroy and met Mr. Hawks. And he said, well, if you can lower your voice an octave by Monday, we'll test you. He suggested that I go out in the hills and scream until I broke my voice. So it could be low like Lauren Bacall. Sexy, you know. You can't be sexy unless you've got a low voice. Well, I did. I said, you know, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm not going to do that. I, I, I got my voice. I spoke as low as possible on the test. But I don't remember much about the test, except he chose me. Whoopee! What a, what a, what a thing to be joyful about. Now at Fox, uh, Rufus Lemaire has been replaced by Ben Lyon. And Ben Lyon, uh, it seems that my agent, Jack Pomeroy, had not asked permission to take me to see Mr. Hawks. So they said, no, she can't do that. And you, Jack Pomeroy, are barred from the lot. And you, Colleen, are in deep disgrace. I can deep doo-doo. <laughs> and they refused to let me do it. And so then <clears throat> Rod Amato, my husband, said, when all else fails, you go to the top. It was his suggestion I see Daryl Zanuck. So I made an appointment to see Daryl Zanuck, and I was terrified because I had heard he was a womanizer, and I didn't know how I would handle that, especially as I'm asking for a favor. It, it's a bad position to be in. So heart in hand, you know, the door opens, and there's this man, and I shook out, took my hand, and I says, Mr. Zanuck, I'm happy to meet you. You're from Wahoo. I'm from Staplehurst, Nebraska. And he was very nice. We walked all the way across the room to, he sat me down in a chair. He walked around to his side of the desk, and, and uh, he asked, I told him the story. And uh, he said, well, you know, because Howard Hawks was his buddy. They played polo, croquet. They did all kinds of things together. He says, if Howard will call and ask for you, we'll see what happens. And I said, well, thank you, Mr. Zanuck. And off I went, and he never made a pass. And I was grateful, but then I thought, oh, I'm not sexy. I'm not attractive. Oh, you know, like, you can't win. Anyway, I went back home, and I called Mr. Hawk's office and talked to Helen, the secretary. I said, Helen, Daryl said that if Howard will call, we'll see what happens. So Howard called Daryl, and they talked. And Daryl Zanuck let me do the part. Is that a nice story? It's a great story.